Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Just having a nosy. Let's go back to bed. I've got to go home and get changed. Five more minutes. I can't, I'll be late for work. Well, that's just as well then, because you've been given the day off. <laughs> I'm the boss, you might as well get some perks, right? My dad will be worried, but I'll see you later. I can't wait till later. <laughs> you can have to. Well, I could always pick you up, put you over my shoulder. I'd like to see you try. Is that a challenge? <laughs> I want her out of my house now. I am here, you know. I'm talking to my son. It wasn't my intention for you to find out like this. <laughs> then why bring her here? Were you drunk? No. We didn't get legless till we got here. Nice wine cellar, by the way. How many bottles did we drink? And then you know how it is, Kim. We couldn't help ourselves. I'm surprised we didn't wake you up. I'm surprised any man would go anywhere near you. Well, you obviously don't know your own son. I want her. Out. Me and Dawn are together now. You're going to have to get used to that. <laughs> Over my dead body. I'm sure that can be arranged. What was that? He's a grown man, not a boy scout. He can have sex with who he wants. Like you did with my dad. Come on, give you a lift. Oh, it's all right. I want to walk. You might scare a lot of people, but you don't scare me. Not in that dressing gown. So go have a shower, eh? Because <laughs> you look rough as rats. Does it matter? Of course he does. You know what she's like. She knows a load of deadbeats. Oh, here she comes. So, where were you last night? Dirty stop out. Don't grill her. I'm allowed to ask. Hi. So, where were you? I was worried about you. I just went for a drink with a mate and then it got late, so I stopped over. Right. Who's the mate? No one you know. Try me. Well, give her a break. So, do you have a nice time? Yeah. It was great. About this mate? Dad, I've told you, you don't know her. Stop lying, will you? Kim's just text. Are you stupid or what? He's the last person you should be having a relationship with. You think I don't know that? So why do it then? Because I like him, Dad. Shouting isn't going to help. I thought this was all done and dusted months ago. Yeah, well, you were wrong. You're a bit old to be playing Romeo and Juliet, aren't you? So you went back to home farm? Yeah. Are you soft in the head? Well, that's it, isn't it? That's my job gone. And you know what that means? That means I won't be up there keeping an eye on stuff. Keeping a leche eye on Kimmy, me. Hey, don't you dare. I mean it. You know what's at stake and you know what'll happen if his body gets found. Your dad's right. You told Billy when you said you wouldn't. I mean, you couldn't help yourself. What makes you think you'll be different with Jamie? Because I'm a different person now, Dad. I'm stronger, I've got Lucas back, everything is going right for me. And you want to blow all that? All oh, right, so I can never have a boyfriend again. Nobody's saying that. Well, it sounds like it. And I didn't take this from Kim, so I'm not taking it from you. Yeah, I mean, why the hell would you want to go anywhere near her? She spiked your drink, she could have killed you. Yeah, and you said you'd sort it, and you haven't. Oh, I see. That's what all this is about, isn't it? It's got nothing to do with Jamie, it's all about Kim and you getting your own back. I'll pretend you hadn't said that. Yeah, but I'm not wrong, am I? I told you that I would deal with Kim when the time is right and not before. Well, you have to get out from under a duvet first. I told you that I would sort it. That is all you need to know. Now, you finish with him today. I mean it, Dawn. <laughs>